Introduction to Law, Sources of Law, Constitution as a Formal Source, Constitution, Constitution is the supreme most legal document, in a country and thus the primary source of law. The complex nature of the modern-day state requires, certain agents and organs to perform various functions in addressing social problems as well in conducting the business of the state. Constitution. The Constitution may be defined as the set of most important rules and common understandings that a. provide for the appointment of state agents and organs. b. lay down their functions and power. c. describe the relation of these organs among themselves. d. describe their relation with the citizens of the state. Abstract sense. Not a codified constitution e.g. UK. The system of laws customs and conventions which define the composition and powers of organs of the state, regulate the relations of various state organs with one another and also with the citizens, concrete sense. Written, codified constitutions e.g. US, Pakistan. The document in which the most important laws of the constitution are authoritatively ordained. Social contract explains the complex relationship between sovereign power and power of the people. Answers who holds the power, the manner it is to be exercised or not exercised. Reflects the moral and political values of the people it governs. How people wish to be governed. What values are important for them. What is their idea of justice. Standard of legality W. R. T. Governmental acts. Pain. A. Constitution is not the act of the government but of a people constituting the government. A government without a constitution is power. Without right, constitution is antecedent, prior to a government, and a government is only the creation of the constitution. Being a document. That not only provides for the government but its powers as well. The constitution is a standard of legality against which the acts of the government will be gauged. History of people. A constitution reflects the history of a people, the evolution of their political will and values. Their struggle in achieving what is important to them as a nation. Why does the constitution need to be interpreted? It is the Supreme document which governs the role and functions of the institutions and citizens. It is the framework within which the business of the state must be conducted. A constitution is not a temporary document. It remains in effect for indefinite time, foreseeable future. It must be dynamic and adaptable accordingly. Just like other legal provisions, the provisions of the Constitution often need to be interpreted in case of ambiguities be that in letter or intent. Historical interpretation. Not only are the original words of the Constitution relevant in its interpretation but also the original intent. An interpretation should not neglect the original meaning meant by the framers. Dred Scott v. Sandford. The U.S. Supreme Court denied a black slave the right to citizenship based on its interpretation of the Constitution to make a barrier b. w. whites and blacks. Slaves. The S.C. resorted to original intent or meaning. Contemporaneous interpretation. Interpretation should focus on making the Constitution adaptable to the needs of society. Constitution must be dynamic as it is meant to endure for ages to come. Its interpretation must therefore meet and cover the changing conditions of social and economic life. However, it must not subvert the entire spirit or essence of the Constitution so as to produce a totally different, opposite outcome.